guys, I feel like my collection is just growing bigger than I want, so it's time to declutter. So if you're interested in seeing what I declutter, just stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I apparently am in a declutter mood. And so when that happens, I just kind of have to go with it. Sometimes it takes a while before it happens. So uh, if you haven't seen my decluttering of my body mist backups, I'll link that below. So this is actually a declutter, a declutter of my, like what I call like my active <laughs> body mist or so ones that I actually have in my collection that I'm trying to work my way through. And so let me show you what I have. Okay, so before I actually go into my new ones, I'm going to talk about these two. When I was doing my backup, I had put them in the bin. And actually, if you look in the video, you can see the back of Bare Vanilla Heat. And then as I was doing the video, I decided I didn't want to declutter it. And then honestly, I don't need two of these. I have a full back backup set of the entire collection of Love Spell Heat, Velvet Petals Heat, Pure Seduction Heat, you know, uh, what's the other one? Velvet Petals. So I have a full one of backup of those. But I don't need two. So these I am going to go ahead and get rid of. Well, put them up on my Rikari and someone else can enjoy them because I don't need to hold on to them like that. So my goal for this year is to get better about just stockpiling stuff. I went from five body mists to a huge collection and now I'm trying to find a balance. So that's where I think this declutter is really coming. I went, you know, I was too far left then I went too far right and now I'm trying to find a good balance. So these will be up on Macari, brand new, never used, and they're backups. So those were my backups. And now I'm gonna show you ones I'm actually getting rid of from my collection. And we'll start with pink because I have less of those. Okay, so I have these two pink body mists that I'm gonna get rid of. I like them, there's nothing wrong with them. I just, I don't like them enough to keep them in the collection I have. And again, trying to find some balance. So when I was just thinking about would I actually wear the this? The honest answer was probably not. So instead of them sitting in my collection, someone else can enjoy them. And so Sweet Fig is Purple Fig Vanilla Honey. It's just a nice kind of sweet fig scent. It's not too clawing. Pink body mist to me are not kind of overwhelming in general. So it's just a nice kind of soft fig scent. And then Pink Berry is Sweet Berries and Pink Sugar. Don't let the pink sugar fool you. This isn't like super sweet. It is It has a sweet hint to it. But it's more kind of, and not that this smells like lemonade at all, but you know how that country time lemonade, that's kind of, it's not really sweet lemonade, like a homemade lemonade or a southern lemonade, <laughs> but it is sweet. To me, it has that kind of, where it's not super sweet, but it's also not, not sweet at all, if that makes any sense. So I'm not going to wear these, I, so there's no need to hold on to them. So these are the two pink body mists that I'll be getting rid of. Okay, so the next two Victoria's Secret mists that I have that are actually the only ones I have and not like heat with my backups are Horizon in Bloom and Harvest Moon Gaze. So the summer SAS of 2022 is when I like started kind of picking up buying again. So I went from my five to going nuts and I smelled these really quickly and just grabbed them and honestly, like this first one, Horizon and Bloom, the fragrance notes are pink cactus, peach nectar, wildflowers shimmering in the distance. Peach and I are hit or miss. This one is okay. It's not bad. It's not great either. I definitely don't see myself reaching for it enough to keep it in my collection. And then Harvest Moon is fresh lavender, sequoia glow under the sky. This one is also nice, but I have other ones that I decided to keep that smell very similar to this that I like better. So again, it was one of those, why are you holding on to this? I wouldn't think about them. I haven't think, thought about them. I literally smelled them in the store when I got them. And just now I was smelling them as I was like deciding on whether or not to get rid of them. But they've just been sitting there and that makes no sense. So we'll be getting rid of these. Okay, so I have two Ariana Grande body mist. I have the Sweet Light Candy body mist and the Cloud. And I literally never wear these. I think Sweet Light Candy, I, at one point I started to try to get rid of it. So you can see there's like a small, and I do mean small dent in that. And haven't really done it. Ariana Grande's Cloud, I don't think I've ever sprayed that. Actually, no, I've never sprayed it. And 
I prefer the perfume and the perfume is light. And so it's not like, it's not one of those where I would want to keep the body mist. So a sweet light candy, if you saw my Ariana Grande collection, you know that the perfume itself is just kind of okay to me. So the likelihood of me really using the body mist is little to none. So, and this dent is from like an actively trying to use it. And then I was, I just kind of gave up. I was like, I really don't want to wear this. So these two are going to be going away. Okay. The next body mist I'm going to talk about is Vincent, Vince Komoto Sfiori. I like this, but I've had it probably going on two years. Like this was in my, I have five body mists left and you see, I've never used it. So why am I holding on to it? I'm just going to get rid of it. It's nice, but someone else can enjoy it because I really don't need it. And yeah, the fragrance notes aren't on there. So when I put it up on Macari, I actually will grab the fragrance notes from Fragrantica and put it up with the listing. It's nice. I like Vince Camuto fragrances, but I have, I rather wear the perfumes. So this will be going as well. Okay. I'm going to talk about these two together because they're both florals. So we have Hibiscus Paradise and Golden Sunflower. So Hibiscus Paradise is pink hibiscus, juicy guava, sun-kissed coconut. I don't know why I got this. I mean, I like it. It's not bad, but it's kind of like whatever, honestly. And I think it was like in the fury of the bottle is beautiful. I got it for 75% off. You know, it was one of those things in the moment. But now that I'm like coming off of my high, <laughs> I guess, of, you know, and my retail therapy that I was doing, just dealing with, you know, some personal stuff. I'm not going to wear this. I'm not a big hibiscus wearer. And when I do, it has to be very specific in certain things. And those ones that have hibiscus, the body mist and perfumes that I have that have hibis hibiscus in them that I'm going to wear, this isn't one. So again, as you can see, literally brand new, never sprayed. And then Golden Sunflower. I was watching someone, I can't remember who, and they were talking about this. And I was like, oh, that sounds good. So I tracked it down and bought it and got it. And I was like, this is okay. You know, so it's sunflower petals, orange flower, and fresh vanilla. Again, one of those, not bad at all. But am I going to wear it realistically? No. <laughs> So why am I holding on to it? And now that I have this channel, the holding on to things that I'm not going to wear is just not going to work out because I'm going to keep adding to the collection when new things come out. So I really need to just make some harder decisions. I like this. I do, but I don't need to keep it. Like it was instantly I saw it and I put it in the bin because I was like, you know, whatever. So those are two more that I'm getting rid of. Okay, so next I'm going to talk about these together because they're both summery. So Saltwater Breeze, that one is fresh linen, violet leaves, water blossom, and white musk. I'm not really a fresh girl. There are very few that I love. It was on sale. It smells okay, but am I going to reach for it? No. So no need to keep that. And then Sun Kiss. So Sunkissed is sun drenched orange blossom, sparkling sea salt, and vanilla breeze. And I actually have two of these. This was one, again, where I was like, do I want to keep it back up? And I decided to. And the reality is, is one is enough. I like it enough to have one in my collection, but that's enough. When that one goes away, I probably won't miss it. And if I do, and they have it again, maybe I'll get it, but honestly, probably not. So those are the other two. Next is Dark Kiss. Dark Kiss is um, a retired scent, and they usually, it's usually easy to find online. It's black raspberry, burgundy rose, bergamot incense, dark vanilla bean, plum musk. So the burgundy rose and the plum for me make this a I only need one of them fragrance, and I have two. So again, it was one of those that I was, when I was going through my backups, I saw that I had one and then going through here, I was like, oh, wait a minute, I have two of these and I don't need to. I want to keep one. I'm going to have one, but I don't need to. 
so that's dark kiss okay so i'm going to talk about these together and then we just have one more that i'm decluttering and that'll be it pastel skies i love this and when i when i figured out i loved it you know it was during semi-annual sale and exactly i'm gonna tell you what happened i had been looking 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 going back and forth to store after store after store and I was like, okay, I'm just not gonna get it back. I'm not gonna get another one. I had one, I'm like, I'm not gonna get another one. I just have to accept it. And then I walked into the Bath and Body Works closest to my house. It was like two days left in SAS and this is summer of 2022. And they had like seven of them just sitting there randomly. And I initially just put all seven in my basket. And then I was like, okay, calm down. You don't need to do that. And so, but, I only put two back, ended up buying five of these things, then had one already. So that made me have six. And <laughs> then when they came out with it again this year in the faceted, I got one of those. So now I have six of these in my collection. I do not need six of these. So I've given one away to a friend of mine who really liked it. Actually, I've given two away and so now I'm down to two, three, four. So I have four of these actively in my collection because I've given some away and I don't need four. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. I love this scent, but three is enough. Like having three total is enough. So that's why I'm getting rid of this. And Summer Melody is the same. I realized going through, I have four of these. I like this scent but I don't need four. So again, it's one of those three of these is enough. And so I'm going to get rid of this one, but I love this. And like I said, I still have three. So that tells you how much I like this and how much I like pastel skies. So I'm just going to get rid of these so that I can have three and moving forward. I think three is going to be my max. So, you know, moving forward because I, you know, the ones that I still have more of, like coconut woods, for example, I'm just going to use those up. But that is Pastel Skies and Summer Melody. Okay, and last but not least, Pumpkin Pecan Waffle. I love this as a candle. I love it. Smelling it in my house during the fall and early winter. I do not like this as a body mist. Like, and I tried. And I told myself, well, it just has to grow on you. It's not. I don't want this. Now, the candle always going to have it. Some kind of smell in my pumpkin pecan waffle smelling in my house as a, a home fragrance. Absolutely. On my body, no. So I sprayed this twice. So, you know, trying to like it and I don't. So this has to go. I know a lot of people love this as a body spray. So someone who really loves this on their body can enjoy it because I am not one of them. Okay, guys. So that is my declutter for my body mist and i'm happy with how i did i have some room now on my extra bin and i actually was able to move a couple of body mist up from there onto the dresser so you know if i can just keep my collection kind of in that vein i'll be happy and good to go and so that's my goal and moving forward this year i'm going to be very selective about what i purchase and how much i purchase so getting these out of my collection and into the hands of somebody that will really enjoy them is the thing to do so all of these will be listed on my makari i will try to like set put sets together so that you know you'll get more than one especially because shipping is just ridiculous and you know i wish i could figure out a way for it to be less but the reality is is everything is just going up so if i can put you know a couple together and it, it at least you know that shipping is covering more than one body mist so check my makari out that link is now moving forward will all be, will be listed below and i won't necessarily do a declutter for everything if you know I'm going through my fragrances one day and decide I don't really need this. I may just throw it up on Macari. So that will be that. Anywho, I hope that this video has been enjoyable for you. I do like watching declutter videos as well because I just like to see why people are getting rid of things. And for me, it really is. I just needed to make some decisions and not have a huge collection minus pumpkin pecan waffle and sweet like candy. The rest of these were you're not going to use them, get rid of them. So 
As always, thanks so much for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys at the next one. Bye. Thank you.